Hey everybody, welcome back to another JBoz gaming video. This is your host, JBoz. And in this video, uh, since we have a new season starting here in a couple weeks, um, I wanted to share uh, some strategy around how to complete the season. And so let's uh, let's get into this. All right, um, I had done another video called Season and Operations um, that you really should check out if you're not familiar with the actual season and how it works. Um, I'm not going to try to go into all the detail I did in that video. I am going to highlight some things that I did cover in that video, again in this video, because it's part of the strategy that you have to consider. So the first thing that we have to consider is, do we purchase uh, a season pass or not? And that's really up to you. A season pass actually requires some investment in gold. Um, typically, it's been the standard season pass has been running around 2,000 gold. The ultimate season pass has been running around 6,000 uh, gold. Well, let's start with, if I don't purchase this season pass, well, what, what happens? Well, you still get to complete all 100 stages. There is also those bonus stages available to you at the end of the season. So there's nothing that, uh, that you lose out on other than uh, some of the locked rewards. So let's talk about that. If you do not purchase um, Season Pass, then anything that is uh, locked, you do not receive uh, in the uh, in the season. So you can kind of look at the look at the uh, kind of list, if you will. And this is the current season that we're on here. Uh, this is a different account, so I've completed the season already. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of things. That you kind of miss out on if you don't have or have not purchased at least the standard season pass um, i'm trying to show see you do still get uh, a tank at, at tier 50. you don't get the commander though so that's something to consider um, you get you, obviously a lot of the silver is locked a lot of the gold is locked right the key cards the 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 premium days are locked so you don't you miss out on a lot of the uh the uh, rewards and if you if you at least invest uh, and, and purchase the standard season pass for 2000 gold what I can tell you is in the previous seasons the gold that you get when you complete all 100 stages is a, a little bit more than the 2000 gold that you put into it so that's why I do personally recommend people do purchase the standard season pass at minimum um, because though you're spending 2,000 gold, you get that 2,000 gold back, and you can keep that in your in your bank, so to speak, and and then next time it's always there for you to do the next season. So I really would encourage people, um, or, or really recommend people, go ahead and get the standard season pass, and not miss out on all of that uh, extra rewards that you can can get basically for free. Now you will notice that you do miss out if you don't at least have the standard on a tank. Um, so, so the standard pass does give you access to some additional tanks that you don't you can't earn if you don't have a season pass. And that's kind of the next step up is what I want to talk about is the ultimate pass. The ultimate pass usually comes with some additional, at least one additional tank, and potentially uh, sometimes it comes with an additional commander. Um, but it also comes with kind of a jump start on the season. It comes with 25 stages. Now, this is this see this ultimate season pass is varied in the past as far as cost. The last couple of seasons, it's been around 6,000 gold. And so, if you think about it, an extra tank for 4,000 gold is um, is not a bad deal, especially if that tank is of any significant tier at all. You know, like I'd say probably six well six may be kind of break even but let's say seven or above if that tank is tier seven or above uh then you know you're probably doing well uh to uh you know buy the ultimate pass and again you're you're getting a jump start on the season which makes you complete the season faster and so on now that's going to be your choice um 
because you don't always need that extra tank. You don't always need a jump start of the season. That's completely your option. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that the ultimate pass in the last few seasons, in my opinion, has been worth purchasing. But you need to make that assessment, that call for yourself and what you're trying, your goals and what you're trying to achieve in World of Tanks. Because it is money, guys, and I don't want to ever really recommend people spend money unless I really believe uh, that it benefits them, and I know it does. So, okay, so that's the passes. All right, now let's get into the strategy about how do we complete the season pass, uh, or sorry, how do we complete the season as fast as we can? So if you kind of dig in here, uh, and I do mention this in the other video, um, there's different ops that you complete within uh, the season. There's um, just a general op that, that is based on uh, uh, XP that you earn. There's your daily ops that you get. And then there's weekly ops that you get. And just c to complete out the passes, I, I want to note to you, because some of, some, some of you may not realize it, that if you don't complete the, or I'm sorry, if you don't acquire some kind of pass, either the standard or the ultimate, you actually do not get a, as many weekly ops as those that did. So in this case, um, there's seven weekly uh, ops here, and if you haven't purchased a, a pass, then you're missing out on, on, on four of them. So you only get three which reduces, well, it doesn't reduce, it slows down your pace in which you can complete the season, okay? So um, this is how the passes also, even standard, increase the uh, speed in which you can complete the season, okay? So let's talk about um, these ops. Um, let's go back to the uh, daily. The daily, you can, um, and I talk about this in the other video, if there's a particular daily op that you either don't find fun or think that it's going to take you kind of a long time to do, you can um, swap it out for another random op because it could be worse. Um, so you really want to make sure that you uh, uh, think that you'll do better uh, uh, or at least you'll enjoy what you do when you, if you get something different. Um, but you can do that by selecting whatever op you want to, uh, want to swap out and hitting the A. The A button, and that will swap out uh, those, those, uh, or at least one. You can do one per day uh, and swap it out. Once you swap one out, you can't swap any more out. It's one per day, and uh, it'll give you a random new op. Now, the daily, um, each one of these equals three points, and so um, most times uh, these are. You know, damage an enemy, spot an enemy, destroy an enemy. Uh, they're really mostly about. Uh, they're not always about direct acquiring a certain amount of damage. There are there is one that's like do eleven thousand two hundred and fifty damage um, in any battles. Um, so, but for the most part, these are generally not damage ops. And so, doing the dailies usually is fastest by doing or using lower tier tanks. So let's step back and let me explain this. Because the key part of this concept is if you're running 8, 9, and 10 to complete the season, season you're doing it slower than tanks 3, 4, and 5. The reason being, the primary reason, not the only reason, but the primary reason is matches at three, four, and five average less than five minutes a match. Matches at eight, nine, and 10 battles, okay, uh, average uh, almost double, double that, probably around 10 minutes. Um, not that some matches aren't less than 10 minutes, because they are, because maybe it's a lopsided game, but some matches may take up to 30 minutes to complete, right? So it's it's very it's it's slower it's slower to uh, to use higher tier tanks to complete most of these ops. The other the other reason it's faster to use lower tier tanks is because if it's not a damage op, be it and what I mean by damage meaning 
a cumulative damage like it says acquire so much damage uh over you know a certain number of battles or or uh you know do a, a tracking damage or spotting damage right uh, or even blocking damage um if it's not a damage op then then it's always faster to do it as a lower tier for example let's take something where it says well heck let's take one that's on the screen here so damage 15 enemies you can do that at a much much faster rate than you can at the upper tiers for example let's say i can play two matches to every one match uh uh at the higher tier so if i play three four or five i can complete this damage 15 enemies probably in let's say worst case scenario two three games and I can complete those two or three games in probably f less than 15 minutes. If if I still hit and damage the same number of tanks at tiers seven, eight, and nine, right? I can't complete this these this op in less than 15 minutes because just one match alone is probably going to average about 10 minutes. So that means to do the three matches, I'm probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood, you know, 30 minutes. 30 minutes so double the time to do this right let's say let's pick another one let's say destroy eight enemies maybe you're great maybe you're good and you can you can kill two three enemies at tiers um, seven eight and nine maybe sometimes you have a great game and, and and do four or five right that's still gonna at minimum take you two matches to do uh, to do this up right at minimum more than likely let's assume that you do about two you get two kills per match on average that means that this is going to take four games for you at tiers eight nine and ten right four games so how many games do you think it's going to take me to do it at three four and five well one at three four and five on average you can kill more tanks in those matches than you can at higher tier it's just the way it is one you have less experienced players t generally speaking and so you can get more kills at the lower tier now um you know there's some ethical questions <laughs> involved in that but that's still that's still the fact is is still the case and i'm stating a fact not uh, necessarily advocating that you should do it but my point is you can kill more enemies at three four and five per game than you can at seven eight seven or sorry eight nine and ten so if you can kill more enemies let's say you can average three enemies so that's three games that you're going to take to do uh this particular op at tiers three five or three four and five so three enemies or per game means three games and we know these games average only five minutes roughly five minutes a game that's 15 minutes and we know that the four games that you do uh at the level of 8 9 and 10 average about 10 minutes so that means i'm doing in 15 minutes uh the same amount of work as i'm doing in 40 minutes at the higher tier see how this really starts to multiply so you really are able to do more ops at the lower tiers especially when it doesn't it doesn't involve damage um, and that includes xp which is the the kind of next point i want to make is these dailies you need to do daily because these really drive how quickly you do your season pass if you can do your dailies every day then that's a, a solid nine points and most times when you've done at least all three of these you've at least accumulated enough experience to get one more point so we'll call your dailies worth 10 points total because you've already done the earn op at least once right and you can do the earn op as many times as you can get it done and that's where the speed really comes in because of the point that I'm just making about the lower tier versus the higher tier, you can you can actually get more games in at the lower tier than you can at the higher tier. Now, unlike damage, unlike damage, you get the same excuse me you get the same number of experience that you do at uh, eight, nine, and ten at tiers three, four, and five. So what I mean is. Let's say you average about 2,000, 2,500, whatever it is, XP per match at set, uh, 8, 9, and 10. Well, let me tell you, at the lower tiers, 3, 4, and 5, you also would average probably 
uh, around 2500 so the experience doesn't change based on the at the tier you're playing right it's 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 all kind of the same average amount but what stacks up is the number of games again you can average so let's assume and I'm gonna make the math easy that you're averaging 2,000 experience per game at uh, 8 9 and 10 so it takes you two games to earn one point right at 8 9 and 10 again two games 10 minutes a game that's 20 minutes at lower tier it takes you two games right to earn one point each game five minutes that's only 10 minutes so in half the time 10 minutes versus 20 minutes you're earning one point that's why you can really start to accumulate and this really starts to stack when you're playing lots of games uh, to complete the season right because you're getting this um, kind of infinite op quicker because you can play more matches faster at the lower tier now the only exception to this general strategy of playing lower tiers to finish the season faster is if you need to accumulate some kind of damage so what I generally do is do my daily and do all my weekly ops that I can do uh, that that are at lower tier um, let's let's kind of look at this first week for a second and let's just kind of look through and talk about it a second destroy one enemy uh, 25 times that's gonna be 25 games it doesn't matter whether you're in upper tier or lower tier you only get one per game and you have to play uh, at least 25 games so which is which is gonna be faster upper or lower tier lower tier each each if you have to play 25 matches think about that five times 25 it's about 125 if I'm doing the math right uh, versus uh, you know 10 times 25 250 Time's really starting to add up here, right? Um, let's look at the next one. Damage one enemy 50 times. One enemy 50 times. Again, a lot of matches can easily be done, but it's the time that it's going to take you. And that's done much quicker at lower matches. In fact, that's even a bigger difference uh, on that one. This one here. Assist in 18,750 spotting damage. This one is a damage op you've got to acquire spotting damage and you can do that faster or you accumulate more uh, at the higher tier so it offsets it offsets the amount of time it takes you by match because in the higher tier matches you can actually get a lot of spotting damage when that um, you know tier 10 hits that guy you spotted right because he's taken chunks out of him and he has a lot of hit points to to drain right and so you're getting a lot more spotting damage and that's true of spotting tracking even blocking blocking damage and direct damage ops are are much better at the higher tier but that's just one so far out of the three weekly let's move on damage 100 enemies well that's clearly the advantage goes to the lower tier right uh we, we would we would uh be able to complete that faster at lower tier deal 1250 or more damage 20 times this may take you uh if you if you're pretty good at the lower tier this isn't hard to complete at lower tier and would be faster to do but let's say you're an average player at lower tier then upper tier you could easily complete this because you might be able to average 1250 damage per per match right and just because you can average it at higher tiers um, it's going to take you less games right so let's let's give that to the higher tier so right now we're what one two three three to two right now uh in this first week um goes to the advantage of the lower tier spot one enemy 25 times again you could spot enemies at low tier you can spot enemies at upper tier it doesn't matter you're, you're just going to average the same amount generally if that's your goal um but you can get in more games at lower tier, so this is a lower lower tier. So now the lower tier is four to two, and the last one is uh, 3750 damage at platoon as a platoon 20 times. You're going to have to go to the higher tier. This is a higher tier uh, op, right? So what 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 this means is um, it's four to three. 
So four of these weekly ops can be done at the lower tier and three of these can be done at the higher tier. So what I do is I start with the lower tier, I complete my dailies and I complete, uh, you know, through, through doing my dailies, I complete probably at least one earn XP op, right? Now I look at the weekly and I see what I have left because as I've done that, I've probably made progress towards a few of these ops. In fact, you'll probably have made progress through, you know, on several of these ops, even the ones that you want to complete at higher tier, you've done some work towards. So I then will complete all the rest of the lower tier ops. And then if I am not, you know, I'm still playing for the day, uh, then I'll go ahead and move up to the upper tier and I'll complete the ops that are upper tier. And then when the next week comes out, I do the same thing, right? Uh, I quickly do that. But as soon as I complete the, let's say I, I go through and I exhaust all my weekly ops, I've exhausted all my daily ops, and I'm still playing tanks. Now, some people you know, are like, oh, that's a lot of gameplay, and it is. But I switch back to lower tier because I know I'm earning that earn op much faster than the upper tier. So that's where it really kicks in, that speed boost happens, is I don't just stay at the upper tier and continue to play upper tier when I'm working on the season. I drop back down to lower tier and I'm able to get in more games, which results in more experience per the time per time I'm spending on World of Tanks, right? So that is the most efficient way to complete the season. And just because you don't complete a op for a particular week, a lot of these ops uh, kind of stack. And what I mean by that is, let's say week one, I just do my dailies and I don't have a lot of time to really focus on completing weekly ops. No big deal, don't worry about it, because week two, you'll catch up. If you spend uh, time completing the weeklies in day two, in, in week two, you're also still probably, uh, you know, completing the ops for week one, not even thinking about it, because a lot of these uh, kind of uh, go across uh, and they're, they kind of go towards the same thing, right? I mean, this, for example, week two, you know, um, damage uh, modules in 25 battles, well, in week one, what'd you have to do? You had to damage one enemy 50 times. Well, by the time you've damaged an enemy 50 times, right, you probably will also have completed the uh, damage modules in 25 battles, right? Because you played 50 battles, uh, you will have probably uh, damaged the module at least in half of those uh, if you're not trying, right? Even if you're just randomly uh, uh, shooting uh, tanks you'll still be able to complete the, the ops together. So that's the overall strategy of how to complete um, the season as quickly as possible. And why that's an, why it's an advantage to complete uh, the season as quick as possible uh, is, to, um, is to get to those bonus um, rewards uh, as fast as possible because if you are able to achieve those bonus uh, levels quicker, then that means you have them longer uh, for the remaining duration of the season, which gives you the ability to either get the extra 25% silver earn on all, on all your matches while the season's going on, or uh, get the extra crew um, earn um, for any crew training that you want to do while the season's going on, um, and so on. So, all right, hopefully uh, this has been helpful. If it has, please hit the hit, please hit that uh, like button. If you do like what we're doing here at JBoz Gaming, you know, of course, uh, hitting that subscribe button is always appreciated and does help the, does help the channel grow. And if you want to know when my last and my next video uh, uploads, uh, you can hit the bell icon, which will send you a notification that the next one is ready. Until then, guys, good luck, and we'll see you in the next battle.